Today's home workout with your online trained Lucy Win and Read is a full body sculpt. So how this is going to work is we've got a nine minute routine. We're going to break it down into your upper body. Then we're going to work your abs, your core, your middle. Then we're going to work your lower body. So we don't need any equipment and all the moves are standing and we've got no jumping. So you are going to love this workout. What I would say is if you haven't already done a warm up, simply press that pause button, march on the spot for say 20 seconds. And when you're ready, I'm ready to start toning you today. So here's a preview of the first move I've got for you. We're going to start where we're drawing the arms in and then up over your head. So you draw them in and up and over. So if you just come into position for me, do make sure your knees slightly bent, arms out to the side, draw them in and up. All right, that's good. So you're going to do this for the next 30 seconds and this is working your upper body. I'm specifically here working through your deltoids, top of your shoulders. This is also really good at working through the upper back, through your lats and then through your arms. So we've got three moves today that we're gonna do for your upper body and the next move you can just see because we're not gonna have a rest, we're just gonna go straight from one to the other. So the next one is then working through your triceps. So if you come into a split stance for me, arms back and really keep those elbows lifted and then you're just drawing the fingertips in towards your shoulders and then extend back so just keeping that going and the great thing is this workout you can come back do this tomorrow and you can even do it in your pajamas it's all low impact so feel this one working through the back of your upper arms keep those elbows lifted nice and high so you can see your next move you're going to be standing straight knees still stay slightly bent you have your palms facing up arms out to the side and crisscross over alternating the arm that you take over the top and this one here is really lovely for your upper back for again deltoid shoulders arms and chest it's also really lovely to enhance your posture keeping that going knees soft keep those tummy muscles pulled in tight and let's have a look at the next move coming up so we're now going back to move one we're going to repeat that move from the beginning so we're working with the arms coming in front then up and over so let's go straight into it so how it's going to work today each body part i've picked you three different moves and we spend three minutes so this now is still working the upper body and then we'll move on to your middle body all right keeping that going so draw those arms in up nice control make sure your knees are slightly bent for me so you can see your next move coming up we're going to go back to working your triceps the back of the upper arms so you're going to come into that split position and really with this one the aim is try and keep those elbows up as high as you can and you will feel this this exercise is what I call a little bit more isolated so this one isn't working as many muscles but it's really targeting the back of the upper arms all right that's good keep that going you can see that timer so you've got 10 seconds left and then you can see the next move coming up which is going to be the final one for the upper body today we're going to go back to doing those crisscross so let's come up knees soft and just crisscross the arms so you can see on the right you can see the timer bar that represents your nine minute workout so once that's completely full then your workout is complete so let's keep that going so we're going to get ready for after this one we're then going to target your middle body your core so you can see the next move coming up we're going straight into working your waist so you're going to come into a slight split stance for me now all right so step that foot out nice and wide knees slightly bent tummy pulled in tight and now reach from one side to the other keeping that going so what i'm doing now we're traveling down your body we're working through the core we're working your abdominals and working the waist and you're just going from one side to the other that's good keeping that going so we've got three exercises we're going to do for the middle body each one 30 seconds repeat the routine twice so you can see the next move coming up you're going to be in a similar stance but this time what we're going to do is we're just going to bend your arms and now rotate one side to the other so the key thing here what i really want you to do is make sure you keep those hips nice and still so you're really targeting through what's known as your internal and external obliques they're letting you do that rotation through the upper body so hips stay still just rotate feel that through the waist all right that's good so you can see the next move coming up we're going to do 15 seconds on one side change to the other so take one foot out to the side knee comes in and just take those arms over towards the knee 
If you find it too hard with the arms to start with, just get used to the lower body move and then add that in. All right, that's good. And we're gonna get ready to now take that to the opposite leg and draw that over. Okay, so this one here is really good, again, for shaping and sculpting the waist. So you can see your next move coming back up is we're gonna go back to the start for those middle body exercises. So step it out wide and reach across so you're familiar with this move. So this one here, again, really good at working through the waist. We're sculpting through those abdominals keeping that going and you can see the timer on the right the bar we're well over halfway through today's workout so let's just keep going reach from one side to the other feel that strengthening through your core it's also great for your flexibility as well so your next move coming up the leg position stays the same it's just the upper body that we're changing so twist that round and then take that from one side to the other hips stay nice and still so just what we're doing now is we're activating your internal and external obliques. That's good, keeping that going. Really good and well done. And you've got those last 10 seconds coming up from now. And whenever you're doing any ab exercises, always engage your core and you just do that by simply pulling your belly button in tight to your spine. All right, so final move for the middle section for working through your abs. So you draw that knee up and then you're rotating your upper body in towards the knee keeping that going. So this one, you can really feel this working, sculpting and shaping and strengthening through your core. Let's now change that to the opposite leg, drawing that up. So this is the final move today of the middle body and we're then gonna now get ready to go onto your lower body. And the first move's a really lovely one. We're just gonna do a leg squeeze behind. All right, so for this one, what we're gonna do is just arms in front and you're just gonna take one leg directly behind. Keep your upper body nice and straight as you do this. And this one, you will feel this working through the glutes. All right, so it's a simple move. This glute squeeze is really good at just really strengthening and lifting. So let's just keep going and we'll just have a little preview at the next move coming up. We're then just gonna go into a lateral side leg lift. So let's go three, take it to and one. So this one here, you're just knees slightly bent, just lifting one leg from one side to the other. So this section now is the lower body. So I'm targeting your legs, your glutes everywhere, lower body from three different directions here on this one as well. So let's just keep that going. So the next move's quite tough. So just do what you can on this one. You'll see a preview now. So you can do one leg circle, then one kick. So you take one leg, you circle it, and then you kick. And doesn't matter if you can't make the circle as big, just do what feels right for you. So circle it, then kick the other leg. Circle and give me a kick. That's good. And circle and kick. Keeping that going, doing really well. That's good. Keep those core muscles pulled in tight. Let's now change. So now you're gonna circle the other leg and give me that kick. Circle, that's it, and kick. Keeping that going, and you can see your next move, we're going straight back to that first one where we're doing that glute leg lift. All right, well done. So now let's get ready and just squeeze that leg behind. Last time of doing this today, and you can see the timer bar on the right is nearly completely full. Keep that going. And if you want more advice on healthy living, don't forget, come to my website, lwrfitness.com. I've got lots of blogs, videos, and so much more on there. And let's just keep that going. All right, so next move coming up, we're back to doing those lateral leg lifts. Three, let's go three, take that two and one. All right, so knees slightly bent, just lift that from one side to the other. So this workout today, nine minute, it's a complete body sculpt using body weight. It's low impact, so this is safe to do without having to wear sports gear. So you could do this in pajamas, you don't even need to wear trainers. And this one, you could use this exercise routine. You could do it as often as you want. All right, that's good. And you can see that next move coming back up. We've got that leg circle and then that kick. So this is the final move for today. So give me that circle and then that kick. So this one here, nice control. And definitely come and find me on any of my social media. Let me know how you're getting on with your training. You know, I love to know how people are progressing, how they're feeling healthier, fitter and stronger. Change legs and kick. So give me that circle 
and then kick. That's good. Nice control. And the more often you do this routine, you'll find you have better balance, better posture, you feel stronger, your endurance improves. All right, well done. And guess what? You did it. That is the workout complete. So well done, you did it. There is your high five. What I'd like you to do is just carry on marching just until that timer stops. That's just gonna get your heart rate back down and really well done with today's workout. You've just invested in your future health, but it's been a really lovely, nice, light little workout that's just looking after your general health. So if you're not already, definitely subscribe. As I said, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like it, please share it. And at the end of this video, come and do a cool down stretch with me. I'll leave a little link and really well done for today. And I'll see you back on my YouTube channel tomorrow.